Today we have a Nikolai G1 E-Box e-bike that we're going to put a Bosch speed unlock chip into. Okay, step one, we're going to remove this crank arm, an 8mm Allen key. Okay, next we're going to get these two Allen key bolts out. Okay, if we come around to the other side of the bike, right in the front here, is another Allen key bolt that we've got to get out. Okay, if we come back around now, we can just pull off this front motor cover. Now we have access to the engine wires. Now what we're going to do, so we're going to remove the plugs, we're going to get this battery plug out of the way so we can see properly. Okay, so now the main plug's out of the way, we're going to remove this top 4-pin connector. We're going to remove this two pin connector. Now, as you can see here, there is slots for other two pin connectors. Some e bikes have three two pin connectors. The one we need to connect to is the one with the light grey plug. Other e bikes have extras here. They have a blue plug and a black plug. But the speed sensor that we need is the grey plug. Okay, here we've got our E plus chip. It's a Bosch standard speed unlocker. Okay, here we have some quick connectors that we're going to use to make it easier to install and also easier to remove should we have to take it out for any warranty issues. So we'll get the chip, we'll get the wire with the brass pins on it, we're going to put this into the connector, push it till it clicks, we're going to get the motor 4 pin connector. We're going to do the same. Now you'll see the wires are matching yellow to yellow and red to red and vice versa. Now we'll do the same with the grey connector with the gold pins. We'll get our connector, put it in there. We'll get the grey motor plug from the speed sensor and join that up. Okay, now the chip's connected. We're going to plug the motors off the chip, the, the plugs off the chip, into the motor. You can only plug them in one way, so if they don't fit, just swap them around. You'll hear them click in. Okay. Now the next step is just to tuck away the cabling and the chip. So there's room to plug it all back in, plug in that main connector. Okay, once you've got it all tucked in, we can turn on the bike, the chips LED lights will light up. That indicates the chip is powered correctly. So now we can put the cover back on. Okay, and then there's a little captive nut that goes in the cover on this side to catch that screw that comes through from the other side. Okay, now the cover's back on. Put the crank back on.
Okay, now the chip is installed, ready to go. If we come and look at the display now, when we press the walk button, we'll see at the top right, it says 2.2. This shows the chip's active. When you press the walk button again, it shows 1.1. Now after riding, when you stop this display, it'll flicker 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, and it'll count down to zero. And when you stop riding, you've got to let that countdown complete before you turn the bike off. This is the chip performing some anti-tuning measures so that the Bosch bike doesn't detect that it's installed.